Hello everyone friends, today we have a review of a copy of a DJI Mini 3 Pro drone, call it Z908 Pro. With the growth of hype around the DJI Mini 3 Pro drone, the Chinese decided to make a copy of it. By the way, quite similar in appearance. This is not the first instance of Chinese copies of DJI drones. In addition to him, there were copies of DJI Phantom, Mavic Air, Mavic Mini and so on. But whatever this drone will justify the title of its non-native brother or will turn out to be shit we will find out now and look which friends came to help us to do the review now we can definitely start the drone is delivered to us in such a branded box and interestingly it's indicated that it can tilt its camera up to 150 degrees just like the dji mini 3 pro the pictures show that the drone can go as a gray or black inside we are waiting for such a bag which can contains the drone and all its components. Here you can already see the style of the Chinese. Crumbled pieces of paper and crookedly cut pieces of foam rubber. But then, that's not the main thing here. Here is our handsome grey, even on top with the inscription Mini 3. Also, this inscription not found anywhere else, even on the box. Well, just look at what a handsome man, almost a twin brother. The camera unit also indicates E24, which means 24 megapixels of the possibility of 4K shooting with an aperture of 1.7. Everything is the same on the original DJI Mini 3 Pro. From above you can see the drone's blades have the same orange ending as on the original DJI drones. From below we can see the lower camera, a lantern, a producting antenna which someone may take for garbage and tear out. Also on the beams we can see special fasteners for installing protection on the blades. On the body we see balding legs and by the way about them. Maybe the Chinese decided to have a joke or they found out that the launch would be really better if the ergonomics of the drone were done exactly like this. But look at it yourself. And it's not about the surface because it's just so absolutely on any flat surface. Again, maybe I don't know something, but none of my drones, neither DJI or Chinese, didn't this. Well, let's try to turn it on with the button that is located in the back of the battery itself. We hear a special sound, turning on the backlight and turning the camera. It looks spectacular by the way, also not as cool as on DJI. But what is there to talk about, because this drone costs only $30 and DJI. For comparison, the next strap for the DJI Mini 3 remote control got the same on Amazon. The camera, by the way, the lowering amplitude turned out to be as started 150 degrees. Next, we will need to open the remote control cover to put three batteries there. Next, turn on the remote control with the button in the middle. We make the left stick up and then down, thereby connecting the drone to the remote control. Well, friend, are you ready to launch? I think he got to go ahead. So let's try it in action. Yes, when the drone is in flight, video recording of course is disgusting quality. Here even the problem is no longer in number of pixels, which looks like about 144 or 316 here, but even more about the transmission of animated, constantly lags, freezes and show interference. But I must admit that if you pick up a drone and just walk around with it shooting videos, then at least they don't turn out to be so laggy. But the surprise of passers-by as I caused this man I think you will see. Well, I think that's all, thanks you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, not saying goodbye.